Did the Olympics just disrespect South Korea? And how bad of a mistake was this? Let's talk about it. Everybody is uh, asking the French for apologies. Excuse me, the Archbishop, the Koreans. I don't know how many more apologies I can give. Let's run the clips. Clearly, deeply regrettable, and, and, and we apologize wholeheartedly. Um, you may have seen we issued a statement uh, last night. There have been media reports of that statement, so we made it very clear from the IOC an operational mistake uh, was made. We can only apologize in, a, in an evening of so many moving parts uh, that that mistake was made, and we apologize to, uh, to people from the Republic of Korea for that, uh, for that error. Uh, that that mistake was made, and we apologize to, uh, to people from the Republic of Korea for that, uh, for that error. Here's what the host has done. Wrongly introduced South Korea as North Korea, played the Sudanese anthem in a South Sudan game, hoisted the Olympic flag upside down, and even placed the Olympic rings wrong. This is the world's biggest sporting event, and these blunders do not bode well for Paris. Boom! There you have it, Andrew. The opening ceremonies referred to the Republic of Korea as the Democratic People's Republic of Korea, which is actually the code name for North Korea. Oh, not just code name. That is the official name. So, guys, we want to say that the Paris Olympics opening ceremony drew in the most viewers since 2012. So a lot of people were tuning in. And obviously, if you guys have heard of the controversy of the other parts of the Paris ceremony, a lot of people did not like it. They thought it was very weird and disrespectful in different ways. But we're just talking about the Asian part here. South Korea got called basically North Korea. It was an honest mistake. We are thinking about U.S. democracy. Yeah. It's probably the South. There's, uh, you know, and last minute, I changed it in my head. That's what I said. And it's tough because, listen, I think they're saying it both in French and English, and they both got it wrong, right? When South Korea shows up, they call it the Democratic People's Republic of North Korea, which right. South Korea is actually just the Republic of Korea. Obviously, if you're just throwing words around, I could see how you get them mixed up because most people want to say just North Korea and South Korea. That's a lot more simpler. But this is your job. You got one job to do. But uh, we were worried about other things. There, you know, there was some singing and dancing yeah. and, you know, the Asian part of the rehearsal. We uh, kind of skipped over that. But, 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 but see, I had a feeling because I left a comment on the Next Shark article. I was like... I feel like this happens like every Olympics. Now, it doesn't happen every Olympics, but back in 2012 in London, London, pretty near France, guys, the London Olympics, they put up the South Korean flag for North Korean soccer players on the women's side. And the soccer team, the North Korean soccer team, was not happy about that. So this is not the first time the Olympics has kind of mixed up the flags of Korea. I get it. They're both and, called Korea. And I think it's, but, we, it is noteworthy that these are two countries that are still at war with each other officially. Bro, they are definitely at war. Like, you got a crazy dictator who is, like, ready to launch missiles. Like, this news just came out that, like, they're trying to... Anyways, guys, I don't want to get into it between North and South Korea. Some people want to reunite, and some people are like, yeah, 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 yeah. it's too crazy to reunite right now. But anyways... Right. Make sure you like, subscribe, turn on your notifications, check out Small Ass Sauce on Amazon, free shipping right now. Some people are saying Paris has to be the worst Olympics that I can possibly remember. However, Andrew, Japan, China, South Korea, they all are performing very well in terms of gold medal count and medal count overall. Right, so I think the opening ceremony got a lot of views, but you let us know down below, are you keeping up with the Olympics? this time uh let us know because here are five reasons the olympics and france i don't know if it was the ioc if it was the french come on let's be honest here we don't know uh confused north and south korea point number one andrew i think asia in general people especially the older people who run the olympics they still know very little about it in the western world mm. like um they know that there's probably North Korea and South Korea and that they're friends with South Korea and not North Korea, but they're not that nuanced to know the official government names. Well, I sure am glad that we can just call China, China and not the People's Republic of China and that we don't have to call Taiwan the Republic of China because that sure would confuse me too. Right, because uh, it actually is Chinese Taipei in the Olympics. Right. Point number two, outside of the K-pop world, people may still not know anything. For example, Andrew... Korea has a lot, uh, South Korea has a lot of soft power right now, but I don't know if this IOC president, Mark Adams, is too familiar with Squid Games or Parasite or BTS. Yeah, and I, I think, 
I, and I'll give them credit. If you ask the person announcing, hey, do you know the difference between South and North Korea? Maybe they're like, oh, okay, yeah, I know the difference between North and South Korea. But when you have to use the official terms, then it does get, I will say, slightly more confusing right. and where you got to be a little bit more on point. But here's my thing, guys. Listen, again, in conversation, if you get them mixed up, you know, uh, with the Democratic peoples and then the, just the Republican great. But if you get it mixed up for the Olympics, which is, it's all about countries. Right. That's the only thing you're supposed to do is rep your country. Well, I guess they messed up Sudan versus South Sudan as well. And uh, I guess- So they're just messing up all over. Honestly, in Mark Adams' apology, he almost said it again. Yeah. That's, that's hilarious. Point number three, I think Koreans are disappointed because they have a lot of soft power, but it shows that on an Olympic level, people were still just like, North, South Korea, you know, Democrat, you know. Like, yeah. it's almost like all these works that you do to distinguish yourself and get known, and then people still just mess it up. Yeah, I mean, I got to give it to South Koreans, man. They have done such a good job of representing themselves, uh, building this good image, obviously with the entertainment and amongst just their national pride in general and kind of their imagery of everything. Yeah, I, think, I feel like good. people generally, for the mo and obviously, you know, have like good interactions with South Koreans. Yeah, globally. yeah, but but... To be constantly mixed up with North Korea, which is a very different place. It's, this is They're not just separated by a borderline. They're completely different places. They're ran completely differently. Right. Uh, point number four, Andrew. Mixing up North and South Korea is actually pretty common, even amongst American politicians. Oh, man. You know what? I don't want to have to do this, but to be fair, Kamala Harris did get them mixed up in a gaffe. I know she knew in her head... But she did, when she was at the DMZ, there's this video of her calling it run the alliance. Clip. I'll just run it. So the United States shares a very important relationship, which is an alliance with the Republic of North Korea. And it is an alliance that is strong and enduring. And today, there were several demonstrations of just that. Bro, that that's is crazy. That one's crazy because you're not even getting mixed up by ROK, DP, ROK. You just, she just got North and South. And you said alliance. Oh, man. She almost had it right. She could have just said Republic of Korea. That would have been correct. She could have just said Korea and probably got away with it. And she, yeah, she should have just said Korea. When in doubt, just say Korea and people are, assume they know you're talking about South Korea. But when you say North Korea, we have a strong alliance with North Korea. I felt oh. like she was maybe thinking North America. North, usually the North one's the one that's friendly with America, uh, right? Nah, man. She must have had a lot of soju that night before, bro. There's uh, no way. Point number five, Andrew. Obviously, the IOC Olympic community was focused on other things. Because they were focused on, you know, I don't even want to get into it, but like their opening performance that was really controversial and just they their mind wasn't on getting the countries right. Guys, again, like I said, man, you at work just talking with your friends and you get the DPROC and the ROC mixed up in that verbiage. Not the biggest deal, but if you're the Olympics, kind of crazy. Yeah, it felt like they were more like focusing on what would like shock their grandparents. Yeah. Like they were just trying to shock their grandparents. Um, anyway, let's just get into some real quick comments. Andrew, obviously there was a ton of Koreans on the internet that were offended. Yeah. Like they deeply offended. No, they should be. Guys, I mean- after the whole past decade that South Korea has had with entertainment and soft power, uh, and that and listen, I think K-pop's popular in Paris too. This, this is not this is not an unknown country to Paris. Like I'm uh, sure BTS I, and Blackpink sure, have performed they there. They don't use Samsungs and drive Kias in Paris. Exactly. They're probably like, you know, we like built all these things so you guys would know what we did and all the products that we created. But you guys still don't care. Dang, dude, I gotta. F I, I feel for South Koreans a little bit because for a long time they're like, we're not Chinese. Not everybody is Chinese. And then now they're like, we're actually not North Korean either. Come on, guys. Like, what are you doing? Right. Um, Andrew, there was a bunch of North Koreans who are uh, love Korean culture who were also offended on behalf of Korea. Yeah. Uh, um, a lot of people were saying they're not surprised that France did this because France may have a little bit more of a flippant attitude towards uh, people who weren't superpowers in the 1700s like they were. Basically, some people are saying that France still has like a dominant world colonizer attitude, even though it's not as powerful as it used to be. Do you, do you feel like that played into it? Do, do the French have a reputation for this? You guys let me know in the comment section Drop below. Drop it, Jean-Georges. 
And then, uh, that was funny. Um, and then somebody said, yeah, it would just be simpler if it was just called South and North Korea. But those aren't actually the official government names. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I get it. I get it. It's that's just what we call it in It's America. easier to remember North Korea, South Korea. That's a, Those are easy for most people. But anyways. But, but, but does that, but what are you? Let's just say it was officially North Korea and South Korea. And then people still got it wrong. Would that be crazy? Guys, it's just, I know not everybody thinks about the tension that is between North and South Korea. It is real tension, like between the two. So it's not even, I don't even, I think the tensions and the tension has been there for even longer than, you know, China, Taiwan type stuff, you know, but anyways, I mean, I, I do think that a lot of, I guess Westerners, they're not used to the whole, okay, Republic of China and then People's Republic of China and then Republic of Korea and Democratic People's Republic of Korea. Like, they're not right, used you're to saying these... European countries don't really work like that. Yeah, they're not used to this thing. But they you know what? East West Germany, I believe. believe yeah, but you about. know what would confuse me is like UK and like, oh, Ireland's part of the UK, but then Britain is. And I was like, what is the UK? I thought it was Britain, and then like that confused me. But but and I guess Ireland and Britain do, or nor at least North Ireland and Britain had had some beef, right? So, right, there's a separate some movement. tensions, yeah, some separatist movement. Anyway, but, listen, guys, what do you guys think of the IOC's apology? They keep getting it wrong. Do they even care? Is this the last time it's gonna be? Because I'll say you this, Andrew. What if China, Japan, and Korea? end up one, two, three, whatever it is in terms of metal count or gold metal count. And then they're going to make all the microchips, all the AI and robotics is like probably going to come out of East Asia. But all, the K-pop, yeah, all the K-pop, all the pop music. All the K-pop that their kids are listening to or maybe TikTok songs is coming out of Asia somewhere, whether it's East Asia or Southeast Asia or South Asia. And they, people, they still just don't know anything about it. Do you know what I'm saying? I'm saying the world is going to be like very AI and tech run moving forward, but it's almost like the West still hasn't really shifted, I guess, their attentions that way. Hey, South Koreans, wherever you are in the world, as an Asian man in America, I feel you. I would be disappointed if I was you, you know, after all the work in the world. But, you know, uh, it just kind of goes to show you that there is still a lot more room for people to understand and respect about Asians, or at least... I don't think they mean to disrespect South Korea. I think they just are not careful with us. They're not careful with Asians. And that's the truth here. Right, right, right. They're not taking it so serious that yeah. they need to understand the nuance. But maybe they should take us seriously now. Yeah, quit dismissing us, guys. Anyway, guys, let us know what you guys think in the comments section below. Is it serious? Not serious? Until next time, we the Hot Pot Boys. We out. Peace.